subway access. We want a binding legal agreement with a set timeline to get all the subway stations accessible. We don't want just a few because we live everywhere and we go everywhere. So MTA and Governor Cuomo, get your act together because we are going to have subways. We are going to have subway access. It is our civil right. The economy of New York City is alone at the bottom, 20% accessible, whereas all these other cities were found a way to make their subway systems fully or get in there, and we're just so far behind. As public sector New York City administrative workers, we say that it is not acceptable in the great city of New York for less than 20% of New York subway system stations and lines to have elevators, the lowest of any major U.S. city. Elevators are needed by New Yorkers with disabilities, parents of small children who try to transport them in baby carriages, and seniors. Hey, hey, MTA, we're not going to go away. Hey, hey, MTA, we're not going to go away. Hey, hey, MTA, we're not going to go away. Under Governor Cuomo, the MTA has ignored ADA requirements and built and not built elevators and over 19 station renovations in just the last two years alone. It is crucial to have these elevators installed. Disabled New Yorkers like me live lives. We work, we go to school, we have responsibilities, medical appointments, and social events, just like everyone else, blending in on the hustle and bustle of New York. We want equal and safe access to our subway stations, and we call on the MTA to make a legal binding committing to make the subways fully accessible. Yes. That is why we are in court today. That this has to become a priority, that so far they've been asking to get away with the best effort and saying, well, we'll do, do our best, we'll, we'll try. We're, we're, we're putting it uh, on our list instead of saying, by this date, we're going to do this many stations, by this date, this many stations, and make a hard, time-bound path for, for accessibility, for a fully accessible system. This is public transit. It's for everybody. It's, we all pay for it. It's a, it's a public no, good, during the day, and if not, everybody can use it, that's not, that's not right. I'm here as a parent, as an activist, and as a New Yorker who believes that in New York, the greatest city in the world, we should have accessibility for all. The lack of access, accessible subway stations means that parents are confined to their neighborhoods. It limits our lives, it makes us waste time, and the worst thing, it hits New the poorest New Yorkers the hardest. The lack of accessible subway stations means that we have to carry strollers up and down the stairs in dangerous conditions. We worry about our safety, about falling and hurting ourselves and hurting our kids, or worse, about dying like Malaysia Goodson did earlier this year. We don't have any money for elevators, but they have mon money to install cops in the system to catch quote-unquote fair meters. So when we talk about accessibility, you know who has access, full access to the MTA, the banks that raid their coffers. I heard a, a statistic last night that shocked me. $87 million an hour goes to service bank debt from the MTA. So they have full accessibility. Governor Cuomo, when he wants to take credit for it, infrastructure around the city, you know, he has accessibility, but he doesn't want to take it, he doesn't want to be accountable to us when there's no elevators in three quarters of the system. Say your name, Malaysia.